up, Mark from Wandering Souls, back with a new video. Um, let's turn the music down a bit. Um, we're listening to uh, Eldemar with um, A Dark Forgotten Past. Really nice atmospheric black metal from Norway. Um, yeah, today is um, May 10th, um, Ascension Day here. Um, also was a day that there was a record fair in our uh, town so um, yeah I didn't really have much to spend but luckily I got uh, some money from my girlfriend so I could spend some uh, money on uh, vinyl records um, so I did um, went there um, not as good weather as last year that, that was a really sunny day at this day but um, this day it was not bad but um, cloudy uh, weather no sun at all actually um, doesn't matter um, it was a nice fair really nice stance and again some uh, records I bought at the same stance actually uh, that I did last year um, yeah it appeared they have the 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 nicest final on the stand or something I on fair I don't know um, yeah, walked around a bit, compared prices and stuff like that. Um, find me, found me uh, four records that I'm gonna show you right now. Um, first one is uh, Raven with Rock Until You Drop. And this is the debut album of Raven, uh, the UK uh, new wave of British heavy metal band. Uh, album came out in 1980. One, um, this is an Italian pressing actually, so it was really nice. Um, released on Neat Records. Really nice pressing, really great condition actually. Also, um, yeah, only here a, a little corner bend, and there's actually a kind of it on this record, so that's pretty cool. Um, again with the neat labels and it comes on black vinyl like I said really nice find um, really glad that I found this one um, yeah really good stuff uh, I paid actually like 12 euro 50 for the record um, maybe high pricey or not I don't know um, but I think it's in good condition so I don't bother um, I saw also the same record in the, sh in the next one I'm gonna show you for a higher price and that condition was worse than this conditions of these two so I don't know um, like 81 album um, first album um, yeah, great stuff. Um, really glad I have this in my collection. I once owned it on CD. Um, probably sold this a couple of years back when I um, moved into this place. Um, but I'm glad I have it back on vinyl right now, so I don't bother. Um, great stuff. If you don't know Raven, guys, um, little piece of heavy metal history here. Um, definitely worth checking out if you are into heavy metal. Um, old school band, great stuff. And I bought another album from them on vinyl. Um, this is actually a right live record, a double uh, vinyl. This is Live at the Inferno, uh, original release in 1984, and that is what this press is also. This is the Roadrunner press from that period. Um, really nice quality, really good condition. Really glad that I found this. This good it even has uh, still the glass on it, so it was really good preserved. It has the Roadrunner labels, of course, and on black vinyl. The other one is just the same, so I'm not gonna show you guys. Um, 
really great stuff. Uh, really got the cl some classics on here: Take Control, Mind Over Metal, Rock Until You Drop, um, All For One, Run Sound, Run Deep, um, Wiped Out, um, Break the Chain, Hell Patrol, Life at the Inferno. All great songs. Um, definitely worth checking out if you don't know this live record. It's great stuff. Uh, no overdubs here on the records, especially stated. Uh, on this record, um, where did I saw that? Um, it was state. Oh yeah, there are absolutely no overdubs on this album, and it's actually true. So um, great stuff. Raw recordings, but sound-wise, pretty good quality. Nice live album from this heavy metal band. Go check it out if you don't know it already. That was the second album. Um, I get a nip of my beer. Um, next up, I wanted to go to some other genre. Um, only bought this for 10 euro. Um, this is um, the first demo of Empty on vinyl. This is Eternal Cycle of Decay. Really nice EP. Printed in the sleeve. And it comes on black vinyl. With these labels. This is a Spanish black metal band, um, at least a lot of other albums as well. Um, need to check those out also, um, but I like what I hear on this one. Um, it's also came with a poster, a little poster, a photo collage with a story of the band actually. Yeah, really nice stuff. Um, Really glad to own this. Raw black metal. Um, yeah, really amazing stuff. There's also some keyboards as well. Um, yeah, really like the artwork. Um, nice color scheme and stuff like that. I like the logo as well. Really cool. It's really black metal, but still readable in my opinion. You still can see that said empty, so that's pretty cool. Um, don't own, own much by this band, probably, uh, but I really want to have some more. Um, check out Empty with um, Eternal Cycle of EK if you are not familiar with this. Um, yeah, and check out the other albums of them as well. Uh, let me know what you think. The last pickup that I found. It's really amazing stuff, really amazed that I found it there. Um, this is Carcass with Reek of Putrefaction on vinyl. It's actually an unofficial release, there are official releases but this is an unofficial. But I don't bother, it's a great 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 release. It came with a nice... This is actually uh, one of the later... Um, Unofficial releases. Nice sticker here, and official of the, the the original artwork on this, and not some kind of cover-up cover. So it's pretty cool. Let's take out the vinyl and stuff. Um, backside. Of the record, a lot of songs on it, but hey, it's gore grind. Also came with a lyric sheet. And the vinyl looks really, really cool.
this is really awesome this is nice green with black splatter really amazing stuff really dig this really awesome awesome stuff and what's funny on this is actually um, the original was an earache uh, press of course um, hello. Um, Eric has also always um, in their um, recognition stuff on the on the spine stuff with mosh and then a number or C E O P there uh, behind that. This is a kind of variation on that. Look at the label. Um, it says actually mush 006. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Um, yeah. Amazing stuff, um, amazing album, um, the start of um, the Gore Grind actually, um, first album released by the band in 1988 if I'm not mistaken, it's probably not on here, yeah original was in 1988 it says right here, um, really great stuff. Um, I like this album, this is one of my favorites actually, together with the first album of the band, of uh, the second album, um, which comes behind this. Um, great, great stuff. Um, yeah, if you don't know this, guys, definitely missing out. Really amazing stuff. Carcass is a great band. Um, absolutely worth checking out if you're to go grind. Um, and I wonder if you don't know them. They are godfathers of that genre, so um, yeah. Later they evolved, of course, in some other territories of music, but um, first two albums were definitely gore grind. Um, great, great stuff. So check out Week of Putrefaction by Carcass. Sorry for the. If you're offended by the artwork, because it doesn't look very. Yeah mainstream in forefront that's why they made up in the past some alternative covers for the albums um, but I'm glad I have the original one um, the original cover so yeah great stuff four nice pickups um, I will leave links in the description so you can check out the music um, great great stuff um, if you got something to say, put it in the comment section, guys. It was a really nice record for um, I know. Let me know what you think of all, all this. And uh, yeah, that's it, actually it for this video. I know it's a bit short, but uh, yeah, long enough for a new video, I think. So uh, thank you for watching, liking, and supporting. And I hope to see you guys with the next video. Thank you, take care, and have a nice day.